Why does the Empire use sentient labor in its prison instead of droids? I've seen that question pop up a lot, and the answer is, because they can. Once again, our hated rivals over at Star Wars Explained provide a simplistic, superficial, and unfulfilling answer to a complex question. As abhorrent as the practice might be, prison labor has several advantages. Mainly, it allows for a business model that is only profitable because it exploits artificially deflated labor costs even beyond what droids can provide. When convicts produce goods and services that are used within the prison they occupy, it helps reduce operating costs and, as a consequence, public spending. When when convicts produce goods destined for government agencies or the private market, some of these prisons might be able to turn a profit. But the real benefit to prison labor is that the Empire can exploit the social stigma and discrimination regularly leveled against prison populations. Most would agree that unpaid labor is wrong, but if criminals do it, suddenly it becomes okay and perfectly legal. Combine that with new sentencing laws that drastically inflate the prison population, and the Empire has suddenly acquired all the free labor it needs to, oh I don't know, build a giant death sphere somewhere.